You and your partners are tasked to show the macro and the micro level drawings of two different substances. One of the substances is going to be a pure substance. The other one is going to be a mixture. So here, my group found our group slide. We're group one, and this is the first substance, substance A. The first thing we need to do is insert a clear picture of our substance. So our teacher gave us the substance. It's carbon dioxide. It's, it's dry ice. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to the insert menu, image, and choose from camera. That allows our computer to take a picture of our substance with a document camera. So let me go ahead and insert that right now. I'm going to resize it as needed, and I'm actually going to also insert a label. I'm going to use these arrows here. This makes it a lot easier for people to understand what they're looking at and for us when we are presenting. So I'm going to label it as dry ice because that's what it is. Now, reading our ingredient, our ingredient is just carbon dioxide. That's a pure substance. Specifically, it's a compound. So I'm going to go ahead and write compound up here because that's the classification of matter at the most fundamental level. So again, you're either going to have an element, a compound, those are pure substances, or a heterogeneous or homogeneous mixture. Okay, because this is a compound, we're going to go ahead and designate what this looks like at the atomic level. This is the micro-level drawings. Now, the micro-level drawings, we're just showing what the atoms are doing. And I know that carbon dioxide is made out of a carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few atoms using Control-C and Control-V as needed and color them accordingly. I'm just choosing random colors. It doesn't matter what colors you use. I just know that carbon here is black and oxygen is red. Now, one cool trick, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all these elements in this compound and right click it and go to group. That fuses them together in a bond similar to what they do in real life. Now, I need 15 copies of molecules in my picture over here. Because it's all carbon dioxide, I'm just going to make 15 copies of this one compound. If this was something else, if this was a mixture, I might need to split up the different molecules, maybe make five of one compound and five of a different molecule. The last thing I'm going to do is label this. It makes it a lot easier to talk about and for people to understand that this, at the molecular level, is CO2. All right, that's basically it. We're going to do the next substance and move on. Good luck. Have fun.